Okay, this one's for Maggie. I'm comparing uh, pick collage with Maldive. Pick collage is on the left, Maldive is on the right. If I tap on the icon, we're going to compare the writing, the font. I want to freestyle, tap on that. Then I want to tap the photos, the green icon towards the extreme left top. Tap on that. I'm going to grab uh, this photo here. Then top right is selected in blue, top right tick mark, that and that. And I can pinch and zoom and move this up. Okay, let me just straighten that. Plus in the bottom, bottom middle, tap on text. Tells me to type something. I'm going to say more text. It will default to the last options you selected. If I want to now change things, look at the below where I've written more text. If I start with the T, that's going to give me the fonts. If I move on to the next one, which is the water droplet, that's going to give me the color. So let's do this bright pink here. Let's do it green so you can actually see a difference. Next one along is the outline. So I can have no outline. I can have all sorts of funky shapes of textures. Let's leave it at that. Then you got more options for alignment. That's if you have a very, very long paragraph. You're going to ignore that. Go back here. Once you're happy with what you've got, Tick mark on the same row, extreme right, tap that. Then we're going to move that up. And then you can pinch and zoom to rotate and resize whatever size you want. Okay, so I'm going to pop that there. Bottom right done. Save to gallery. That's going to give you a save to gallery. We're going to have it. Uh, you're not going to feel the short break, but I'm going to film in two parts. Next part is going to be um, actually Maldive. I've had problems syncing both videos, so that's why I'm breaking in two, but you're going to see it as one smooth video. Thank you for listening and see you in part two of Maldive. Hi, welcome to part two. We're looking now at Maldive. Part one looked at pic collage. Part two is looking at Maldive and we're comparing the way you write text on the photos. I prefer Maldive and you're going to see why. So I'm going to tap on Maldive. In the middle, below the photo, you have collage. Tap on that. I want the one-to-one -one frame and I'm going to show you that there's a slight glitch here. So I'm going to tap here for the photo, tap album. We're going to get the same photo again if I can find it. <laughs> I know that's the guy but I can't see where the thumbnail is. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, eye popping. So we got that. I'm going to tap on that. You see at the bottom left we have what the photo that's selected. We want to tick that, tick mark on the right. We have this. Underneath the picture you have a thing, a, a row, two rows. And the first symbol says frame adjust. I'm going to tap on that and that what allows me to do is adjust the proportions of height and width. So if you notice at the top, the little horizontal line with a little white dot, it says one to one. Ideally we want 16 by 9. So we're going to move it here. But you're going to see that there is an actual glitch. Can you see 16 by 9? Okay, we do. That's part 1. Part 2, if you look at the extreme bottom of those little horizontal things, we have an orangey thing next to the dot to the left. That little line that looks a bit like a lollipop. We're going to bring that to 0 to remove that border. And even then, it's not perfect. So again, you've got to consider the dimensions of your image. That there's a slight glitch here. In your device, you're going to tap the back arrow to get to the other controls and then what I want to do is if of the extreme bottom we have a set of icons you have like kind of a, a grid next to it you have AA which represents the writing the letters the fonts tap the AA again just above and I'm gonna put more text and that's gonna remember the last fonts that I selected uh, next one along is the alignment side side middle Tap the double A to change the font. So let's say I go for ASAP Bold Italic. Next one along is going to give me predefined colors or I can pick one from below. So let's say I'm, I'm a bit wacky and I want one of my own so you can see it moving. That's the one I want. Next one along is Outline. So remember I'm just going to go to the main ones. So if you see at the bottom it says Stroke. If I tap on that and then I'm going to select black 
and I'm going to move the slider to the right. You're going to see how thick the stroke gets. If I go above to the next thing, it says shadow. And if I move the shadow around, you can see the shadow. That's the shadow is I can have solid. Or I can have a soft shadow, which gives it a bit of a blur. The soft one looks a bit better, a little bit more natural. So tick mark below the photo to the right. That saves it. I can move it around, resize it, put it wherever I want to save that. Bottom row, extreme right, I have an, a box with an arrow pointing up. Tap that. I just want to just give you this as an example. I want the standard. It's going to save. And then it's going to be in my photo gallery. It's going to give you some blah 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 adverts. And then you just have to put one up with it, close it. And that's really how you do it. And you press home just to start the whole process again. Thank you for listening.